After nearly a decade since the release of Grand Theft Auto V, Rockstar has finally announced that there is most certainly a future for Grand Theft Auto VI. Let's dive right into the details and see if we can figure out from this rather anticlimactic announcement when we might actually get to play the game or even see a trailer. We're happy with just about anything as long as there is news. But first, a reminder about our brand new giveaway. We're giving away a PS5 with two games of your choice. To enter, all you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video and make sure you're subscribed. It's that simple. First, Rockstar Games confirming Grand Theft Auto 6. So yes, it is finally official that we're going to get GTA 6 in the coming years. Whether it will be called Grand Theft Auto 6, or if it's going to be named something along the lines of Vice City, San Andreas, or even Chinatown Wars is unclear as of yet. And sure, we did not get a name out of them, and details regarding an official title are sparse. But it is still exciting to know the idea of having a next generation version of the game is no longer longer a rumor or speculation, and the fans have been waiting to hear this news for a very, very long time. More on the announcement. On Friday, February 4th, Rockstar updated their official website with a new message to help give fans an idea of what they currently have in the pipeline, after all of the overwhelming support that GTA 5 has received. They began talking about how GTA 5 has been successful and a fan favorite for nearly a decade now, also pointing to the fact that being able to play online has brought in even more players to the mix. Then they admitted that just about every Everybody has been eagerly waiting for a new GTA series since forever. They then added to the message that their main goal with every project is to always do better than the last, openly saying that GTA 6 is going to be significantly better, more improved with GTA 5 in terms of use of technology, graphical differences, as well as the content of the game. But with that, they also wanted to convey, in a very roundabout way, that they don't want to be rushed into creating something that's not going to be a masterpiece. We are certain, thanks to the announcement, that we can look forward to the next entry in the GTA series, as it is reported as actively being developed, and that the series is well underway. They ended the message by saying that they will be looking forward to sharing more information as soon as they're ready. When's that going to be? That, we don't really know. Sigh. Now, fans react to the announcement. Of course, the confirmation by Rockstar about the new game is not really a surprise, because we all know that GTA 5 has become one of the best-selling games of all time. So, why wouldn't they make a sequel to their biggest game yet? And it also makes sense why they've waited so long for a new new game. Better milk the best seller for all that it has to offer before bringing in the new version, am I right? Anyway, the fans of the game series went into overdrive upon finally hearing the news. Sure, the game wasn't exactly a big shocker, but since Rockstar never actually admitted to working on GTA 6, simply hearing them confirm its development feels like the best thing ever. Let's go take a look at some of the stuff that fans had to say in reaction to Rockstar's announcement been waiting for too long. One fan tweeted a photo of an older man with a controller in hand and a happy expression on his face, along with two of his friends around the same age, insinuating that that's how old they will be when GTA 6 finally rolls out. Hilarious, but also kinda true, since we still have no clue when the game will actually come out. Give them a moment to wrap their head around, jeez. Another fan tweeted about how it was too early in the morning for all this exciting news, what with Overwatch 2 trending and GTA 6 being announced. It's only 9 in the morning, he wrote, along with a gif of Drake going wow in disbelief. Most anticlimactic announcement award goes to... Some people were shocked about how casually Rockstar announced that the game was in active development, while others were shaken that they literally announced the news in a blog post of all things. And not even front and center, by the way, in the footnotes. Wow, Rockstar. Meme central. Some of the more creative fans were quick to bring in the distracted boyfriend meme, with GTA 5 being the current, long-term, reliable girlfriend that it has been, and GTA 6, something that the guy doesn't even have yet, being the attractive new girl in a red dress. Okay, they dug in real deep for that one, don't you think? It seems that a lot of people were taken aback by the fact that people at Rockstar carefully chose a random Friday to make the announcement, as one Twitter user depicted with a photo of Tobey Maguire as Spider-Man carefully adding some chemicals in a beaker. At the same time, another person wrote that the announcement was about damn time, with the infamous video of LeBron James saying the line. And we agree, can't believe it took them this long. Is there a release date yet? Okay, in one one word? No. But would that stop us from guessing and making careful predictions based on previously presented evidence? Hell no. We have plenty of reports to base our guesses on, because a lot of credible people have left hints and made their own predictions about the game's release. Let's take a look at some of the reports. The Kotaku Report. According to the report, the new entry in the GTA series actually went into early development in April of 2020. The report also revealed that the release of said entry was going to be a moderate-sized release, and that it will afterwards be expanded with 
regular updates gradually. A moderately sized release for Rockstar Games is still a pretty huge deal, but that just means that at this point in time, the game must be further along in development, say 50% at the very least. Unless the work was put on hold due to the pandemic, just as it happened with the rest of the world. And while the report doesn't exactly give an idea into the game's potential release, we still might have gotten a hint from the game's publisher, Take-Two Interactive. Take-Two Interactive's marketing budget. That's right, in a report from VentureBeat, it was revealed that the parent company of Rockstar Games is filing their 10K SEC from 2020, laying out financial plans for the duration five years to come. And it shows that they're expecting to spend around $89 million worth of money on marketing, starting from April 2023 up until March 2024. Let's be honest, that's a big spike, and it is actually more than half of the marketing budget that is expected for any other fiscal year over the span of the next decade. Well, because of this, analyst Jeff Cohen made a prediction that the spike is actually due to GTA 6, which is exactly what it seems like. These marketing budgets have successfully predicted the company's other big releases, which means that we should be expecting the game to be released sometime between April of next year and March of 2024. Tom Henderson's prediction. The spike in Take-Two's marketing budget actually almost lines up with the notable leaker's prediction. He posted a video in which he allegedly shared GTA 6 details. He believes that the game isn't going to be released between 2024 and 2025, and here you thought the 2024 date was too far down the line. Well, Henderson has solid reasoning behind his prediction. Let's dive into those reasons one by one. Number one, employee well-being. So, he says that Rockstar Games has actually been quite heavily focused on the well-being of their employees, because they want to avoid a culture where the people who work for them are overly stressed out and on a time crunch, constantly hurrying to meet an impossible deadline, which would only put up blocks in their heads and impact their creativity. Refer back to the message they shared along with the announcement about giving them time. Number two, waiting for a big enough market. Henderson also claims that GTA 6 is set to release only on Xbox Series XS, PS5, and PC. And since there are currently shortages of both Xbox Series X as well as PS5, Rockstar Games is apparently waiting for there to be a big enough market for the consoles so that there can be a majority of players get their hands on the game once released. Number three, GTA 5's ongoing success. Another reason that goes in favor of a 2025 release is the fact that GTA 5 is still really popular to this day. And so, the developers wouldn't want to release a new game when its predecessor continues to make them money. Well, whatever the date for the release may be, we really want the developing team to work as long as they need to and wow us with the best version of the game series yet. That's a wrap for this video. Are you excited about Grand Theft Auto 6? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.